welcome back to See Luna Plays The Sims Medieval. I also didn't notice that there's these two to do as well. But I think we're just gonna go down the line here. And I don't want to start a new game, but unfortunately I have to in order to do the newer ambitions. Which is a loss, but that's okay. But anyway, we're gonna start on ambition number two, Imperial Domination. Ruling a kingdom is fun, but do you know what's more fun? Ruling an empire. It's time to take Manifest Destiny by the horns and ride it into the outlying territories, expanding your lands as far as you can reach. What does name it? Sona does love a roast to signify Umi. Anyway, Welcome, Watcher, to the newly founded kingdom of Sona Does Love Arrows. After the throne room's construction, there were enough materials to continue. Choose building and give it a hero. Oh, whoa! I can carry over Nico. Hold on, I'm gonna do Nico. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I changed it to Nico. Because I did not know you can carry over Sims from previous saves. That's good to know. Alright, I finished making Umi. At first, I wanted her to rule the kingdom, but due to transferring Nico from my previous save, it kind of feels right to do Nico as the owner of the kingdom instead. But anyway, Umi is dedicated and friendly, but she doesn't like love. Judging from that one episode in her. Love Live where they watch romantic movies and Umi freaks out. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna accept and we can finally do a quest now. I didn't have any heroes, so we wouldn't let me do a quest. But anyway, I did not do family quest yet, so we'll do this one. A coat of arms told the story of one's lineage. It represented the achievement of generations. To hold one was to make a connection with those achievements and to remind oneself of the family code of conduct. But what happened when a hero had no knowledge of his or her own heraldry? I forgot there's multiple approaches. Uh, most knights would tell you that family heraldry was the source of courage and victory for any great warrior, but the protector of Nico Nico Niland was not most knights. So Umi took Nico's place for the new kingdom. As in for Nico's previous role. But anyway, Umi said that their husband whispers among the guards specifically to the new recruits that she wasn't fit to be their leader because she didn't have a family crest. Heraldry means nothing to me, she cried. A woman is defined by her actions alone, not her family's past. I need to quell to this idea of the importance of family crest quickly before it gets out of hand. Okay, so what do we have to do? Discuss with people, pretty much. Okay, so where do I uh, go? The kingdom, I guess? Uh, we could try to talk to Nico. Nope. I can't remember where I heard it from. What about the other two? It was just a discussion in the barracks. I can't remember who started it. Alright, last person. I heard it from one of the other guards while I was on patrol. The source of this lack of confidence in my ability to lead is certainly a mystery, as it is the whereabouts of all my recruits. Where has everyone gotten off to? I don't know, but we should probably do your dailies before we find the missing recruits. Guard forest entrance. Oh, I don't know how long we have to guard the forest entrance, but we'll do it for our daily. What's this nonsense? Why are these recruits not at their post? Oh, they're on the second floor. Demand explanation. These scrubs are really testing me. I need to find one of my full guards. You're not even fit to lead us. We refuse to do our duty until either you present your family hairdry or we have a new captain. To be honest, Umi, I agree with them. I'm refusing to do my duty until this situation is resolved. This is outrageous. A woman is defined by your actions alone. I don't know how I can protect Nico Nico Needland without my guards doing their jobs. I should warn Nico. Um, how do I warn Nico? Oh, discuss situation, I guess. If you can't get your guards in line and protect the kingdom, Umi, you, you need to be removed from your post. Oh, that's harsh. But thanks anyway. How should Umi solve her problem? That's it. No more Mrs. Nice Girl. I'll whip those guards into shape. Or guards who refuse their duty are less than useless. I'll protect the kingdom myself. I feel like the second option's better. Anyway, if the guards won't stay in their post, I'll just cut their pay and perform duties on my own. Yeah, who needs them if they're gonna be useless? 
Simple enough, not much trouble on the decks. Who needs other guards? And go to the shaft, it looks like. Oh, patrol the front gate. I mean, we're just standing there, waiting for something to happen. What's this, bandits at the gate? They don't look like the average bandits in this area. I can't handle this on my own. Damn those recruits, I should check the last entry into the city, the forest, before returning to the barracks for help. Good luck, Umi, we're gonna need it. Bandits are here too, this is too many, too quickly. After my recruits have abandoned their posts, something else is going on here. Look at these slackers. How did these worthless peasants even discover my missing past anyway? I have no idea. Well, I guess I overheard one of the new diplomats in the throne room discussing it. A new diplomat? I haven't heard a new diplomat. I should investigate with Nico. Um, is Nico sleeping? I guess so. Ermi, you could go up now. Oh, you were just waiting for Nico to be done on the throne. Anyway, you Yes, there is a new diplomat in the kingdom. She hails from Jalwari. I never heard of it myself, but more alliances make Nico Nico Ni land stronger. Yes, I guess. Mysterious bandits and a mysterious dignitary? That's not just a coincidence. Look at these spineless worm. Time to crack her with a little pressure. Bandits, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, what's her choices here? Expose her in front of the court or... Expose in front of all the recruits. I guess we'll do in front of the court. By the watcher, no, I never. Are you sure about that? Command recruits to follow. Liar, now she's trying to escape. She won't get far, I'll see that. I'll get my recruits to show them how a coward with a noble family crest deals with her problems. Fighting does not solve any problems, but okay. Chase Queen Rosetti to the judgment zone. Oh. I gotta do my daily steal, but I need, like, a higher relationship. We'll do those later, I guess. The main quest is more important. There she is, but the monarch has already given the word. She won't get any farther than this. Watch Queen Rosetti die. Um, this is a little extreme. What am I supposed to do here? I guess we'll follow. This took a dark turn really quickly. I was not expecting this. Although it is medieval times, so I understand, but still. Why are you crying? I don't think you ever liked her. Bye! Bye. That looks like it hurts. I don't think I fully watched this at normal speed when Maki accidentally died. <laughs> Jesus, that's vi- I do not notice the skull and bones were there, but okay. What does this noble's family crest mean now? Digesting in the beast's stomach without the dignitary, the bandits that we don't catch will soon disperse. So this will be a lesson to these recruits. We'll learn well. Oh, it, the quest is over anyway. But yay, we got silver level. Yet another scheme against Niku Niku Ni land has been thwarted and the kingdom preserved for another day. None of the guards, veteran or cadet even questioned Umi's authority ever again. Her actions have spoken louder to them than any collection of symbols ever could. And we're night level two. Cool. Well anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. I don't know what we learned from Umi's family crest, but I guess we will never know. But uh, yeah, I'm just glad that Umi is now a part of the playthrough now, because she wasn't part of Hanukkah's kingdom. But yeah, anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I guess I will see you all next time in another Sims Medieval video, or whatever I'm making next. Goodbye, for now.